everyone. Thank you for tuning in to Geek Colorado today. I'm Julia and I am here with James Stokes, an amazing actor. And if you would like to just, you know, quickly introduce a few of the films you've done. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I've, I've done 66 on my IMDb. It's, 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 I'm right at 66. Uh, a few of the horror films that I've done is, of, of course, Voorhees, Night of the Beast, Night After the Beast, Slasherverse. I've, so I've done three, two short films and a feature film. Um, I've also been in Reunion from Hell and Reunion from Hell 2, and that's with uh, me and a lot of the people from Nightmare on Elm Street, Lisa Wilcox, Danny Hassel, Mark Patton. Uh, so I've done that. Um, um, I've got, if you, I can't even name all of them, but if you could go to my IMDb page uh, or just Google me as James Stokes, uh, you can see all the films that I've done. Yep, and I'll make sure when we also post this that I include a link to that so viewers awesome. can also check you out that way. Yes. Um, but I'm actually interested in how you got into acting. I hear that you did some high school acting to kind of wet your chops a little bit. I did, I did, I did. Well, yeah, I got into musical theater back in high school. Uh, of course, it's just the high school musical theater. Mm -hmm. uh, just fell in love with it. Uh, fell in love with being an entertainer, you know, uh, singing and dancing and, and, and being able to learn all of that at the same time. Uh, plus being a quarterback of the football team, you know, I, I got laughed at a little bit by the players. But, um, yeah, I did that. And then um, after high school, went on to uh, college, sang a little bit in, in chorus in college while I played football. And then um, after that, kind of took a hiatus, um, did some extra work here and there, but just didn't do a whole lot. Became became an EMT firefighter and, and did all that, worked at a factory, you know just basic life stuff. And then um, how I became into it though, I got back into it, a friend of mine was doing some short films, Westerns. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, a, I'm an avid equestrian. I okay. love riding horses, I have horses, I love it. And um, so a friend of mine was doing some Westerns. I got uh, involved with him being an extra. He gave me some speaking lines. I met another guy that had an agent. I didn't know a whole lot about agents and stuff at the time. so. Um, he introduced me to her. She really liked my look. She said, get me some headshots. I did that. And I did some other features and some commercials, mm -hmm. started doing some com commercials. And then uh, a little show called Stranger Things called me. And, <laughs> yeah, just and a so, little show there. Yeah, yeah. and um, I got on that show, small part, but it, it literally boosted my career a lot, just having that on my resume. And then, of course, the director... Uh, one of the directors that wrote Voorhees Night of the Beast contacted me, liked my size and my look, and um, brought me in and s fitted me for the outfit, and it just it went it skyrocketed from there. So I've been very lucky. I'm uh, very humble. I take nothing for granted in this business because you can't, and um, I I'm just steadily working. I'm I'm, do I'm doing a lot of conventions. I've gotten um, several more roles. I just finished two more films in Nashville with Eric Roberts, uh, Ciara Hanna from the Power Rangers, um, uh, Vincent Ward from Walking Dead. We did some things. Uh, so I got one movie coming out the 19th called Child of Love. It's going to be um, aired at the movie theaters in Nashville. Um, we're having a premiere for it on the 19th. And then uh, uh, The Great White Throne Judgment is another one that me and Eric did together. And uh, it'll be shortly, won't, within the next couple of months, it'll probably be, be out. So I've been very lucky on the roles that I get. I take it very serious. Uh, I'm a very serious actor. I stopped all other jobs. I became a, a professional actor about four years ago. And um, that's what I've been doing ever since. And, um, so, and I absolutely love coming to conventions like this, meeting the fans. Uh, it's, it's especially the kids. I love it. And I, I thank every mom and dad out there for bringing the kids and letting them see that we're not just monsters, that we're real life people and it's not real, but at the same time you can enjoy being scared mm -hmm. and know that at bedtime that monsters aren't real, <laughs> you know? And I, I do, I really do appreciate parents that, that teach their kids that because the parents that want to look at horror as a devil worshiping, killing machine it's just it's ridiculous i mean yeah. it, it is something that is enjoyable to a lot of people and the people that don't watch it don't understand it and that's the reason i like to be an advocate of being out there and telling people that this stuff is not all bad stuff you know it's it's, it's for entertainment and yeah. and that's what it's all about 
Yeah, now you were talking about how you switched um, and quit all of your regular jobs about four years ago, did the transition. I mean, you've done everything from being an EMT to doing DJ work. Mm -hmm. yep. What past skills did you develop doing other work that has proved to be um, useful in your current line of work? Uh, well, okay, uh, the factory. Uh, I was a supervisor at a factory. I worked there for uh, 13 years too and a, a safety aspect of it. Because um, everything, every, I don't care what you do, if you're doing a job at home, if you're hammering a, a nail in the wall, there's a safety aspect to everything. Uh, safety is one of my number one things on set, especially you know, not to get myself hurt, but yeah. not to hurt someone else too in, in the same. Like in Voorhees Night of the Beast, there's a lot of fighting scenes in it. I did all my own stunts. I mean, I will always do my own stunts. I, I keep myself in tip top shape. I'm 52 years old and I'm in the best shape of my life. And I do that on purpose. I do that not only to be able to do my own stunts and stuff in movies, but a, a, a way of life. You know, I, yeah. I, want, I want the best, best life for myself and for my family as I can get. So, you know, I gotta take care of myself as well, so. Well, I know if, uh, if I'm ever on a movie set, I want you there since you do have that EMT yeah. train because you I never do. know. You yes. always hear stories about things going Absolutely. wrong. Absolutely. Have no. you mm -hmm. been on any set where something has gone wrong? Uh, nothing terrible yet. Okay. Uh, there's been some, you know, minor bruises and cuts and stuff like that that, yes, I've actually taken care of. You know, and it was funny on Stranger Things when they brought me in because I was a real EMT <laughs> paramedic and all that stuff. They, that's what they wanted. Well, they took when I got on set. They literally took me straight into Millie Bobby Brown's dressing room. Oh man! And yes, I mean, literally, because he, I was sitting there, and he said, "Come with me." I went with him. He took me literally right into her dressing room. I had a nice long talk with her. Uh, we shot a lot of stuff together. Um, I got to to wrap her the way you're supposed to be wrapped, because that's what they wanted a real EMT firefighter or whatever for, yeah. is because we know how to do it. So, and it, and it is, the more skills that you have in this job, the better off you're gonna be. It's like being an avid equestrian, you know, being able to ride a horse. Not all actors can ride horses. Yeah. And, it, and it is a skill, it is a, it is a very technical skill to ride a horse. A horse can go up to 35 miles an hour and you riding on the back of it, if you don't know how to stop that horse, that horse could kill you. Mm -hmm. And if you, you know, falling off horses and stuff, it's a stunt work, but you get paid very well for it too. So yeah, I like that. <laughs> well, I don't know if you're into anime or anything recently, but one of the stars for the live action was learning like how to cook, learning how to do martial arts, mm -hmm. all for the character he was trying to portray. Sure. Was there any skills that you have tried to learn to portray a character? Oh, absolutely. You know, fi you know, the, the, the skills of being able to shoot a gun off the back of a horse or to use a gun on set. You know, mm -hmm. of course, we all know about Rust. Yeah. And, you know, uh, we can talk about it now because it's, it's a tragedy that, that could have been avoided, should have been avoided, and it, it, it's just, ne that should never happen on set. Now, we're all human, we're all gonna make mistakes. Was that mistake neglect, or was that mistake on purpose? It's not for me to say. It doesn't matter. Two people's lives, a lot of people's lives actually were changed because of that one incident. We don't want that on any of our sets. So that's the thing, but yes, learning how to do certain skills, to do it safely and all that, yes, that is a big priority of mine and everybody else's on any set that I'm on. And I've actually been asked to be safety coordinator on a couple of sets oh, that's that were, cool. yes, that, that has yet to come to fruition yet, being that the strike is happening and all that yeah. stuff. I hope that that gets over soon, but if it doesn't, you know, we still have our independent films and I hope people will support indie, indie films and stuff like that because a lot of the streaming networks and stuff are going that way mm -hmm. for whatever reason. I don't know the technical issues of that, but yeah. it, it's just that's the way that things are going right now. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for taking your time out of the day today. Oh, Once again, we are with James Stokes, and this is Geek Colorado signing off.